So, a lot of people may not know, but Live2D has an official face tracker for VTuber models called Digimon Live. I actually had been aware of it for a while now, but never tried it. So, Live2D reached out to me to test it out for the first time and showcase it to you guys. Digimon Live has its features listed on their website, but there are several things that are the most interesting to me. Mainly, the light computer load, the collaboration feature, precise tracking adjustment and scripting function, a good item implementation, and transparent software background. The hat is a lot. You can use Nijima Live for free with some limitations, and if you like it, Nijima Live has several plans available. The annual plan costs 5,280 yen, which is around 33.5 US dollars, while the monthly plan is 550 yen, or around 3.5 US dollars. So first off, the computer load, Digimon Live performs pretty well on stuff like laptops. I had a laptop once. I found that when I'm using the usual tracking software, like during streams, especially when I'm using Live2D, it does get pretty heavy and then my model lags, so it's not super good. So with Digimon Live, I was able to stream smoother. You can see how different the performance is compared to other VTubing trackers, VTubing software. So for the collaboration, feature it is already built in this is something that you could use instead of obs ninja i personally had so much trouble with obs ninja because the bitrate changes all the time and it even gets really really bad to the point that the model looks like it's exploding if there is even just one paid user in the collaboration room people with the pre-plan can still join without worrying about time limits so if you are part of the group that does a lot of live streams together a single subscription is going to be enough for everyone. Moving on to precise tracking adjustment, combining it with the USB connection feature is so helpful, especially when you have um that's so good internet. So each parameter can be controlled in terms of its sensitivity and smoothness, and you can even edit curves. The curves feature gives riggers and VTubers more control on how strongly a parameter activates. So for example, a model can open and close its mouth easier with this kind of curve. By default, I did notice that Nijima Live's mouth form is a little different. It's more of like a pucker or a funnel. It does work well when you're speaking, so you can really show that O oh, mouth shape, but the model cannot frown or smile when its mouth is closed. So I asked help from the Nijima Live team. So this is where the scripting feature comes in. Now my model can smile and frown with its mouth closed. So I studied the code a little bit and kind of figured out how I can use my vBridger model on Nijima Live. I'll be sharing that script in the description below as well as the script for making your model smile and frown when its mouth is closed. So they also sent me some scripts for automatic blinking and also playing an expression when a key is held down. And they also sent me a script where I can draw on the tracker itself. Now I can choose the color I think I'll choose black and then I'll press my number key and I can draw. Wow. <laughs> oh, give me a second. Oh, French. Wait, what? How do you even do French accent? Oh, hello, mademoiselle. <laughs> I really don't know, I'm so sorry, French. People, I totally butchered the accent. Oh, wow, I can't even draw parts of my eyes. The scripting function uses JavaScript, so I bet people can develop pretty interesting things with it. Next up are the items. Nijima Live also has a ton of items that you can use. There's still images, live 2D assets, and even animated assets. You can add in your own assets too, of course, just in case you have already purchased or commissioned custom assets. The neat thing about the items feature in Nijima is the way that you can see the items um you can treat them similar to layers in drawing programs it's also such a convenient visualization when you are using a ton of items you can also press this button to reveal more options for items such as pinning the items to the model flipping the items as well as changing the smoothness of the movement of each item so being able to set the software's background to transparent will really help with setups with just one monitor or if you have a dedicated monitor for 
streaming. You don't need to double check with OBS to see if your model is in the best position on the screen. It's just a neat quality of life feature for me. So after using Nizumo Live to review and mess around with its features, I think it has some advantages over other software. Nizumo Live has unique offerings built into the software and the performance is such a huge plus in my opinion. I want to put more emphasis on the built-in features. This feels convenient if you are not really a fan of DLCs and stuff like that. And also the subscription covers the mobile app already. It could have more things that would make it a really really good tracking software. I just think that Nizumo Live could become really powerful when it introduces output parameters that can have an input equation using track parameters. Um, with how Nizumo Live is, it's kind of hard when people have to do some scripting to have the same effect. So that is it for my video. Thank you so much for watching. I would also like to thank Live2D for sponsoring this video so I could try out and show Nizimo Live to you guys. So you could check out some more videos of mine on my channel. I do a lot of Live2D content and I stream rigging quite a lot. <laughs> I definitely stream. So I'm also gonna shout out my YouTube members. Thank you so much. I will see you guys again in another video. Goodbye.